when you have a, a, a situation, a medical situation through the VA um, that they can't get you in within 30 days or you live 40 miles away from that facility. Uh, and they're supposed to fill in the, the gap there and get you into a private doctor or facility mm -hmm. and they, they can pay for it. This is originally thought to fill the gap of where vets weren't getting the care that they mm -hmm. were waiting for months for, mm -hmm. right? Exactly. But you've been waiting for months to get some months. care, right? Since the first week of May. What's going on? Um, I've got a bulge in my neck through an MRI that they took. Um, and I've got weakness in my dominant hand. Mm -hmm. I can't turn the ignition on my car with anymore because of the weakness. I've got pain down my right arm, stemming from the bulge in my neck, and I've got weakness in my arm and pain. You haven't been able to see a physician locally for this? I, I have seen my physician who ordered the MRI for me and ordered physical therapy. Uh, Are you able to see any doctors out here locally with the CHOICE program? None at all. I haven't seen, I haven't received any notification from CHOICE whatsoever. I called the other day to find out if they had scheduled my, uh, or gave me a place to go for uh, the pain management, nothing. I haven't received anything. This was meant to be a program to get you immediate care, wasn't it? Supposedly, yeah. So um, where are you going to go from here? Well, more immediate than what they scheduled, let's put it that way. But where do I go from here? I'm honestly and truthfully uh, thinking about being a 100% permanently disabled veteran of going to a normal hospital, regular hospital, mm -hmm. and jacking up the bill and sending the bill to the VA because that's the only choice I have at this point because I can't wait till August 21st or 25th or whenever to get any kind of relief.